Hey guys, welcome back to the Wadoc Project 365, episode 237. Today what we're doing is working a little bit more aggressively on that adductor groin area. We have, uh, we have Sean, which is our constant mobility project here. Um, just because he's the epitome of mobility. Gumby was not his friend. Go ahead and get down here on that, on that butterfly stretch. Um, this is something that we've been working with him and trying to enhance on him uh, a lot, right? We try to have him pull his butt towards his heels and you can see how high he already gets up in there, right? And what we'd like to be able to see is this come downwards and he wants to cry as soon as I start to do that. Now, um, I'm going to tell you, we talked about this, the active frog before. Uh, so flip over like you're going to get into the active flip frog position. This is a position that we're having trouble with, uh, with Sean with. With Sean with, that doesn't make sense. This is a position that we're having Sean try to get into that he was having difficulty with. So come on to the side so you can see. When we talk about the active frog position, just drop down for half a second so I can explain it. Uh, we have shown this before. It's one of my favorite ones. What we try to do is we want uh, the athlete to put their heels together and we want them to drive their heels up towards their butt, right? In this position right here. And then we kind of have them army crawl their knees up a little bit higher, as high as they can. Well, the reason why we call it an active frog is because he's going to actively jam his heels together, and then as he relaxes, he's going to come up into a like a cobra stretch position. And you can see how immobile he is. He kind of gets, uh, you know, he can't really round that back out. We have a hard time getting the hips down to the ground. So what we did here is we gave him a little banded assistance to this. Okay, so this has you have to have a friend to do it. I haven't figured out how to how to do it without a friend yet. But as you can see, all I did was take a band, I slid it under his belly, right? And I hooked it onto the opposite toe, right? I'm gonna come back underneath here. And I'm gonna come, I'm gonna pull all the way out and then hook it to the other side. What does this do? This does exactly what I want him to try to get into in the first place. This drives his heels towards his butt. So now all he has to do is concentrate on getting up into that position where he armored crawls his heels up to or his knees up towards his stomach. And then, exactly, just like that. All he's trying to do is get his pelvis down towards the ground. He's gonna use an active breathing assist with this. So that means he's gonna take deep breath in, deep breath out. Now, to also assist with this, when he's, uh, when he's not breathing, right, when he takes his deep breath in, before he takes a deep breath in, deep breath out, he's gonna take his knees and try to squeeze them together like a clam. He's gonna hold that for three seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. He's gonna take that deep breath in, deep breath out, and he's gonna to try to let his pelvis sink towards the ground. Now, you can see how far his pelvis is off the ground. So what Sean could do is he can actually drop down to his uh, elbows, like a TV washing position, and hopefully this will allow him to get his pelvis closer to the ground and he still gets that nice stretch, right? So there's two positions here. What we want to do is really just work on getting your, uh, your pelvis actively towards the ground. Again, we're still using that active knee squeezing together like a clam for three seconds. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Allow your pelvis to drop on the relaxation of the breath. Guys, try that out. And until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.